if they give you a really awkward range, like sevens or something or thirteens or something, how you can find the adjusted range is take the big number, right? The, the top level, top number of our range, in this case, 200, divide it by three, that's going to get 66.66. Because we have to pinch in, 66 times three will get us to 198. You can do the exact same thing on the low end of the range. Take the low end of the range, divide it by whatever increment you're doing. In this case, we're dividing by threes, that's fine. That gets us to 33.33. We can't multiply by 33, right? That'll break the range. We have to multiply by 34. Takes us to 102. That's the way to do it if it's not like, you know, threes are pretty easy to find, sixes are pretty easy to find, but if it's something weird, that's how you do it. So now we're just off to the races. We've adjusted our range, good for us. Big minus small, 198 minus 102, that's 96. Divide by the increment, we're counting up by threes, that gets us to 32. Is it inclusive? You bet, because we adjusted our range. Add one, 33.